Um, and the final article that we have is another rebrand, uh, Wasps, which is a, a, ru a rugby team. So rugby is what you, I suppose, might call American football but uh, in the US, but rugby is um, American football, but without all of the protective gear. So if you're watching a, a rugby match, you'll just see people oh, ripping, <laughs> ripping their faces off. Yeah, it, I it, think it, this is pretty cool. It, I mean, yeah, it reminds me of American um, sportswear stuff, like when you look at, say, the very boldness, mm -hmm. simplistic uh, visual design. And when you compare it to the previous one, that kind of looks like a beer oh commercial. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the beer. You know, it looks like something so, you've seen. No, the no, the old logo looks like a smashed wasp. The new one looks like it's going to, like, it's like a fierce. It's literally all they did was change the eye shape and the antennas the point down. Like they had versus like sharp, you know what I mean? Basically sharp lines on the antennas and a circle. It's so funny how you just simply change like those two elements and it makes like such a dramatic difference. This, I would say in terms of like playing the wasps, intimidation with their old logo is like a one out of 10. The new one is like a solid seven out of 10 intimidation of like, I think this is a big upgrade. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, the old one looks like something you'd get on a, a, a beer bottle, you know, drink wasp beer. Uh, but the new one is like, this is, you know an actual sports team interestingly enough the fans hate it um and so if you go what? on through the article yeah this this is but the thing is fans are used to it like you know if they're used to a logo they there's always up for all um and so some people were posting on twitter that the wasp looks like it's walking on its back legs and someone did a, an image of like it's carrying two pints of beer <laughs> like <laughs> all right steve <laughs> <laughs> all right now now i i yeah that's that's pretty funny so, but if you scroll down to the article you can actually see the tweet like someone's did a um a mock of a, a beer a wasp carrying a spear uh and so it's like they said all right sting you're around <laughs> um but yeah i think it's worth noting that because the style looks like an american football style logo that could be what the um the pushback is because rugby and American football has always been this contention between the two different sports. So there may be an element of that. But again, I think as as sportswear go, it, the the logo is really really nice, very sharp, very like simplistic, um, much more aggressive, pointing in the right direction, looking forward. I think is what they described it as opposed to looking in the past. And again, it's like you know, I think there's an element of maybe we're being conscious of what what's to come. So yeah, and I think overall it's a really really nice cool logo, um, very sharp colours. And you know you can't you can't lose with yellow, black, and white, really, can you? I don't think so. No, I think this is cool. I personally am a fan of the upgrade. I love that. Of course, loyal sports fans are always looking for a good meme. So this was pretty. This is pretty awesome. But that's it. You know, we just went over what is that? Five articles from the creative block on logo updates. So get inspired if you're a logo designer. If we missed anything. You know, drop it in the YouTube comments. And if you haven't done so, if you use Apple Podcasts, if you would be so kind, please leave us a glowing review talking about how Ryan and Mustafa are just absolute delights to listen to. That would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, awesome. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for joining today's episode of Design Huddle, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Design Huddle. The opinions expressed are solely our own and do not express the views or opinions of our employer.